Welcome to Comparing Decimals with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be covering how to compare decimals and what steps we can take in order to make sure we have correct answers. As you can see, there are six comparing decimal problems on your screen. I would highly suggest you write these out with me. And if at any point you feel confident enough to do some on your own, feel free to press pause, complete the remaining problems, and then when you're ready, press play and check your answers with mine. So let's hop into number one here. We have one and five tenths compared to one and 45 hundredths. Now with decimals, you cannot say one and 45 hundredths is greater because it's has more digits or it's a bigger number or something like that. You have to line up your decimals and compare the place values because the size of a decimal doesn't necessarily mean its value is greater. So our first step is line up your decimals. So what we do is we come to the side here and we write one and five tenths and then under it we write one and 45 hundredths. We line the decimals up. That lines up all of our places. So our second step is use placeholder zeros. So as you can see, when we line those two numbers up, they're a little offset. It looks a little weird. So what we can do is we can use placeholder zeros so that both numbers go to the hundredths place and they're a little more aligned. Adding a zero to the right of a decimal does not change the value. You are allowed to do that. You can do that without changing how much that number's worth. It does not work for whole numbers. This is only decimals. So now once we have our placeholder zeros, we can compare. And we go place by place. The further to the left, the greater the place value, the greater the worth. So we start in the whole number area here with the ones place and see if we can compare because this place is worth more than anything to the right of it. Can we compare those ones? No, they're both ones, they're both the same. So now we move to the tenths place. Can we compare a five and a four? Is there a difference there? Yes, the five is greater than the four. This holds more weight, the tenths place does, than anything to the right. So this number is greater. Another way to think of it as we both we, we have both numbers going to the hundredths and we use placeholder zeros. So you can think, okay, this is one and fifty hundredths and this is one and forty five hundredths. Obviously fifty hundredths here is greater than forty five hundredths. So one and five tenths is greater than 1 and 45 hundredths. So line them up, use placeholder zeros, then compare from left to right. So let's take a look at number two. We have six hundredths. I'm going to line them up over to the right and six tenths. Use placeholder zeros and now we compare. We go left to right. There aren't any whole numbers here, so we can't compare these zeros. So let's take a look at the tenths place right here. We have a zero and a six. Obviously that six is greater than that zero. So six tenths or sixty hundredths is greater than the six hundredths. And if since we use placeholder zeros, we can just say, well, sixty hundredths is greater than six hundredths, right? So we go back to our original problem and we can read this comparison sentence from left to right. We would say this six hundredths is less than six tenths. Let's go to number three here. Line up your decimals, two and 44 hundredths. And then we line it up with two and 440 thousandths. Let's put our placeholder zero in, and then we compare from left to right. Always check the whole numbers first. Okay, we have two twos, can't compare there, they're both the same. 
Let's look at the tenths place. They're both fours, can't compare there. Hundredths, both fours, can't compare. And then zeros in the thousandths. So both of these numbers are actually equal in value. This zero that makes um, two and four hundred two and four hundred forty thousandths a little bit longer than two and forty four hundredths doesn't matter. It's just a placeholder zero. It doesn't add value. So these are equal. Let's check number four here. So we have a bunch of nines and then one tenth over there. So we have nine hundred ninety nine ten thousandths. So let's write this out. And we have one tenth. So obviously this number is a lot longer and we have nines compared to a one. But if we know our rules and the meaning of our place values and decimals, we can see, let's put our placeholder zeros first. We can see that one tenth is actually greater. We don't have holes, so the zeros we cannot compare. Let's look at the tenths. We have a one compared to a zero, so this number is automatically greater. One tenth is greater. So let's read this from left to right. 999 ten thousandths is less than one tenth. Let's take a look at number five. Line them up. Add our placeholder zeros in here. And now we can compare. We have threes in the ones place, can't compare. Let's look at the tenths. We have a three compared to a zero, so obviously that three is greater. So three and three tenths is the greater number here. Or you can think of it as 300 thousandths compared to 79 thousandths. Obviously 300 out of 1,000 is greater than 79 out of 1,000. So you, you would read this as 3 and 79 thousandths is less than 3 and 3 tenths. Let's take a look at number 6 here. I put this one specifically here because once students get into decimals, sometimes we forget about the whole numbers. Always check the whole numbers first. So I'm going to uh, put my placeholder zero here and then go from left to right. We can compare the ones place in this problem here. We have a three compared to a two. The decimals don't matter if we can compare the whole numbers. The whole numbers ho hold more value. So the three and one hundredth is actually greater than the two and 999 thousandths. So let's read it from left to right. Three and one hundredth is greater than two and 999 thousandths. So there you have it. That's how you can compare two decimals, line your decimals up, use those placeholder zeros, and then, con then compare from left to right. Make sure you have the comparison correct. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that was helpful. And until next time, peace.